Dan and Ian, a British couple travelling with our Bernese mountain dog Delilah. We've given up work, sold our house, given away our possessions and now we're having a full life van tour. So come and join us, we're uh, finishing off in Europe as we make our way back to the UK, so after van MOT uh, and so come and find out about how Christian faith and van life work together on, on a, a wing, wing and, and a, a prayer. prayer. open till 11. But it doesn't matter because if you don't do this abroad, a full English breakfast. <laughs> oh. And we noticed it's Yorkshire tea tea bags. Oh yeah. And for me it's beans on toast with Ian's black pudding on top. Often when we was away from home I used to Google how far we were away and how long it would take to drive. And I remember one time looking and it was I think it was 3,500 miles away from home. We are now 40 minutes away from Warrington. So we're going to go there to get some new tyres because um, our MOT is due and we know that the tyres on the front are really warm. So it'd be really interesting to get back after a year and see if anything's changed and, you know, things that we remember. So dead looking forward to it. 40 minutes and we'll be back in Warrington. 
12 hours and we've hit, hit our first conundrum. So we thought we were going to spend five nights in the car park of our son and daughter-in-law's flat and after only two hours there we left the van, went and got some shopping done, went to the post office, got some cash and um, we got the knock and it was from the welcoming committee. Are you Irish? <laughs> <laughs> so it was actually the um, residence committee, that was it, asking what, what our intentions were in the car park. So we kind of explained that our relatives lived here, we would travel from Europe. Um, he didn't seem too worried, he just was said, you know, we just wanted to check what was happening, which is absolutely fair enough. Well, I think well, that's good because it shows that the vehicle's being watched over. Mm. And better that somebody knocks and discusses it with you than just perhaps sticks a sticker on the front of the van. Um, but all in all, it's left us wondering, are we actually welcome here? Are we going to cause any problems for our relatives? Um, so we've come to park. This is the local park and we're going to have a walk round and just see if we can find anywhere that we feel confident parking instead. So here we are on the Oakwood Marina camping and glamping site and we didn't know we'd be here when we woke up this morning. That over there apparently is an amazing tea room. So I think this site we will definitely be coming back to without a doubt. Having the best day Mr A. The very best. The very best of days. We've not only got ice pops, we mm. have got... Da -da -da -da. Us. <laughs> Our, way. Oh. our super grandchildren with us! <laughs> so we've come on a bit of a camp and we just found this place by accident and it is really good. So what are we doing tonight kids? We're going to put the projector outside and this place serves hot pizzas so we've just ordered some for 8 o'clock. So lovely night, big fields, let the fun begin. The magic of camping. So we sat, we've had hot chocolate, we've had a nice tea. Oh no, and something's happened. Oh, you on your phone? Oh, sorry, it's because I'm on my phone and using this. We have got Paddington Bear. There's also a dog in Oh, yeah. That's it. It's, it's our first Saturday night it's back, so and we're goodness. living it large. Come out to the local Indian. With the family, <laughs> and we're just about to have a lovely Indian banquet at our local spicy ginger. Our local? <laughs> well, it's not our local anymore. It's it's yeah, their it's local. local. <laughs> <laughs> it's our local. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're here in the UK. <clears throat> it's the start of our first full week here, and we've come to have our MOT done. So as every van person knows who lives in the van, um, it's a biggie because if it fails, um, we've nowhere to sleep tonight and we've no transport either. So 
<coughs> hoarse voice, sorry. We had a bit of a Father's Day party last night and I talked too much. Um, so we are just waiting to be called in and uh, find out what happens. Are you nervous, Ian? Just about as nervous as I am at the dentist, which is... <laughs> <laughs> There's some things that really make coming home <laughs> worthwhile. One of them is tea at my mum's house and she's made us homemade <laughs> trifle. Look at that. Come and have a look at me mother. Why I say thank you. Mum, I'm vlogging you. <laughs> Here she is. Proud owner of a bowl of trifle. <laughs> Good morning. Well, while the van um, failed its MOT, we're staying at my mother's, which is lovely for both of us. And um, this is where we slept last night. I call it the pink paradise. So we slept here. <laughs> and it felt so weird being apart. And then I was in the other pink paradise. and oh. listen to loads and loads of bands so we've got to go in a tent which will be a novelty because uh, we were so late booking there was no pitches for the motor home so we're actually going camping for four nights Yay. we haven't used this tent for a very long time so it's we're praying yeah it doesn't rain it's the one you would have been in Alice if you'd have been with us <laughs> Here we are, the first morning after the first evening of the Sausage and Cider. Oh no, we're doing a little vlog, thanks. That's great, alright. <laughs> um, so we've, um, we didn't sleep well. No, but everybody seems very kind. Everybody's lovely, but I had a massive migraine and ended up vomiting. And poor Ian ended up with acid reflux. Now. And it wasn't beer or anything, <laughs> I don't know what it was. So we're feeling like old biddies. Um, I ended up in the van at 5.30 in the morning eventually. Um, Ian stuck it out and come to get me at 9 o'clock. So we washed and we breakfasted now and we're full of fluids and we're good to start another day. And for all of those who are wondering, like, are we ever going to get a house or anything? This is our new home. Oh yes, disaster <laughs> happened last night. We have travelled for 12 months around Europe with a tent in case we ever wanted to camp. We've brought the tent here today, or last night, got it set out. No poles. <laughs> Not a one. No rushing either. Oh, you great. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. So here we are. I'll show you our new tent. It is tiny. So this is where we slept last night. It's actually a festival tent. They sold it us for 40 quid. It just, oh, we remembered the fairy lights. It's supposed to be a four-man tent. We remembered the fairy lights and forgot the um, the poles. And here we are, look. It just about fits the air bedding. Very cosy. So here we are to another day on the Sausage and Cider. Sausage and Cider part two. Oh, yeah. Whoa. 
Lady without a care in the world. We've got our tent, which did have flashing lights on it earlier on, and uh, yeah. And the second night's over. We've just watched uh, Noel Gallagher. The killers are on, but I think we're going to give those a miss. We're just settling down by a fire, having a nice little drink just before we go to bed. Good night, everybody. Day two of the Sorry Dirt and Sausage Festival at Derbyshire. As you can see, it's a bit quiet here yeah, because they're all still out doing their thing, which is good. Just hoping that some of these people who've just come aren't going to be a bit noisy tonight. As you can see, it's just wall-to-wall -wall tents right near the toilet, and here, here's our nearest takeaway, just down the road. Do burgers for a fiver, which isn't bad. And that there, where the lights are flashing, that is the fairground. So everybody's starting to come back. It's going to be a bit noisy for the next hour. But we say good night, everybody. A song by that boy band. Do you, do, do you know where that little ditty that went to? And in a twist of separation, you will say on a bill free. Can't you find a little room inside for me? Whatever I say, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. I just want you back for good. Yeah, I think they know it. Bands, do you know this one? Can you do this one? Let's give it a go, eh? We've never done this before, unless you've seen the show before. <laughs> Kids, I'll tell you when you're older. Um, this one, Karen, was originally sung by Gary Barlow, but it was 
So he gave it to Robbie Williams and he made it a hit. Kids, I'm finally going to do a song you might have known. Yeah, are you doing good? Having a good time? Staying hydrated? Have you, got, have you had any cider? Oh, please tell me you've had some sausage. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you don't even know he's pointing at you, but you're shaking your head like... She goes here a little too high or a little too low But no self-esteem and vertigo They think she's made up Nice, let's do it